Montana as a Lolo National Forest Campground called Slow Way. I thought I'd give you a little tour of it. Let's go do it. It's off of uh, Highway 90, which is right up over here. There is some noise from that road, and there's a train over here. But the RV park is such that it's so good that you can easily ignore that. Or sometimes you have to take the good with the bad. This is a, a fee area. We have to pay a fee here. Any of these national parks, national forest parks, you're going to pay a fee. And it's um, and it's the type of thing where you come to the kiosk. You get the little envelope here, that kind of thing. You fill it out. You put your money in it, or a check, and you slip it right in here, and you're paid for the day. And what it costs you is $15 a day, but if you have the America, America the Beautiful Pass, it's only $7.50 a night. And here's the information how you can contact them right here. I'm gonna show you some of this park here. You got first come, first serve sites out here, and then you got some reservable sites. I'm going to show you some of the sites over here. Also, over here is the camp post. You can get firewood over here. You get you get five stack, five sticks, <laughs> five sticks a day, or five logs. This uh, I'm going to show you up here. You can actually you actually have a horse camp area too, where you can put your horses in the corral. There's like a little corral there, and these are the campsites here. It's this whole park is located on the Clark Fork River. Incidentally, there's trash right over here. And it's really well kept. All you do is just uh, unhook the little gate there and throw your trash in. So, RV water fill here. There's no dumps here. You got your bathrooms over there, of course. It's really neat. You've got a, a primitive boat launch area here as well. You got little groundhogs. You see them there. He just went down this little hole. Did he? No. There he's still there, see? Well, you sure are a brave little fella. Aren't you? Come, you so brave. He sure is brave. Look at this. We'll see you. Let's go down here and I'll show you the, uh, the boat launch in the river. Now, the ideal camping spot here is number 25. And I'll show you why that is the case. We were here for a couple of days and then uh, somebody had it reserved. So we moved over to 27 and we'll be leaving tomorrow we could have moved back here but it's only a few feet but number 25 right here number 25 you are you've got any size rig right here you are right on the river the clark fork river and you can catch fish in this river trout and there they are and it's a beautiful river we were here 10 months ago and as we're here we saw two eagles Fly right down the river here doing their performing performing their mating ritual and that is where they they actually circle one another as they're flying through the air if you've never seen that i couldn't get my camera out fast enough to catch it i got my camera out and i caught it after the fact they had already they went over there and landed those pine trees over there and uh that's where they stayed for quite a while I'll put some of that up. But that was something to see those eagles in their mating ritual and the sound it made. It was it was a, a fun thing to see. It was a beautiful thing to see. Number 25, we talked about that. These are ponderosa pines. The tallest pine trees in the world are in Oregon. The tallest one is 268 feet. It was measured with a tape. But this river here, you come here in the summer, you'll see all kinds of people boating, floating this river. It's a beautiful river, the Clark Fork River. Some ducks over there. Anyway, that's about it. It's a uh, short, real short review. It doesn't take much to review uh, this RV park. It is a national forest park. It's a beautiful place. We were here, say, 10 months ago, and the choke cherries had just ripened. And Cindy made some... Uh, choke cherry jam which which was incredible and i'm gonna show you the choke cherries if you get here 
in July and August, the cherries will be, will be right. And here they are, I'm gonna show it to you right here. And this will be choke cherries. If you get here, they will ripen and they are so good. I had some choke cherry ice cream a few days ago. I didn't even know they made it. I bought it in North Dakota. But here you have these, um, like a tent site here. You got back end sites, pull through sites. And um, the thing I like here is you can have a fire here. A lot of national forests will let you have a fire, but you can here. Regis, St. Regis, Montana is near here. It's like 13 miles from here. Superior, Montana is close to, to this, uh, to this campground if you just want to get away and enjoy yourself come to western montana in the lolo national forest the camp host they have been here for five years they're really nice people a place for the whole family it's not very busy here right now here's here's one coming in behind me here it's it's not real busy right now look it's june the first and you see how i'm dressed here it can get cold here and uh, we've been having to run the uh, propane heater i just wanted to give this to you show you about this particular rv park pack on up and come on in check this out an actual rolling fog let's put it on time lapse It's 